if you're like me, you really like egg noodles. <laughs> I love egg noodles. But I'm always looking for carb substitutions, and I have a whole list of them uh, that I share with people all the time. It's a giant list of carb subs, and there is even one for egg noodles. Um, they say if you take a cabbage and cut it into the shape of egg noodles, steam it for five, sa five minutes, five seconds, five minutes, it'll basically turn into an al dente egg noodle substitute. Um, now, normally you could do the same kind of thing, and you could saute it in butter for 12 to 15 minutes to get it to a texture that cabbage is usually tossed, like for example, with sausage. You can also do that and toss it with egg noodles and then you can double the capacity of your egg noodles, um, but with a lot less carbs. So that's another thing you can do is combine the two together. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this carb sub out of cabbage uh, egg noodles. I'm bringing down my cabbage now into the egg noodles. Um, I'm gonna cut in half first. I usually get my cabbage at fries because they actually sell cabbages in half. A whole cabbage is like eight servings of vegetables. It's like so huge. So I prefer to buy that half cabbage at fries when possible. I happen to be at Sprouts, so I picked up this cabbage, the whole thing. So I'm gonna probably do something fun with the other half, maybe that egg noodle thing I was telling them about earlier. But bottom line, I'm gonna cut this in half and start to break it down. I'm not exactly sure how to do this, but I figure first step, let's cut it into egg noodle withes. Um, also, you think I, I could maybe even do like a parpadelle. Um, so that could be a fun experiment as well, but uh, I'm going for the egg noodle. Okay, so some of these are already the perfect shape. Um, in here, when I look sideways at some of these, um, you can see that there's, uh, oh, this, this side, there's like, eh, this one's pretty good actually. Some of them had a side piece and I just had to cut, yeah, here we go. So once you get into here, I just cut this way to get the pieces out. So overall, I'm getting a pretty decent egg noodle shape. Can you believe that this is half <laughs> of a head? Uh, there were some odd pieces like this. I'm just gonna use them anyway, um, texture. But yeah, look at this is gigantic. I only used half of it. Um, like I said, cabbage, I like to get by a half at a time. I got them in my steamer, boiling water below, and uh, five minutes. That seems pretty fast, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's been about five and a half minutes, and uh, there it is. So we'll uh, taste a little bit. Get this guy. Perfectly cooked. Wow, that's the exact right. It's like an al dente pasta. Okay, now what are you gonna do with this? Well, you could make uh, beef bourguignon. That loves egg noodles. You could do a beef stew. You could uh, saute chicken up uh, and uh, toss it with some chicken. Me, I went ahead and did some beer braised brats. I'm gonna slice those up, toss them with some scallions and butter, and see what I get. Because everybody knows sausage and cabbage are a match made in heaven. So I added quite a bit of salt and pepper, well, quite a bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, uh, and I'm tossing them in butter and scallions. I had scallions left over, hence the scallions. Always good to have an aromatic though, no matter what you cook, garlic, scallions, something, uh, some, oh, maybe even put a little bit of red pepper flake. Yes, that's going in here next as well. And then I'm gonna uh, slice up my sausage. Ain't that a pretty skillet. <laughs> so uh, I usually only get one sausage when I do something like this. So it's mostly uh, the cabbage and then a little bit of sausage, but I had three because I love the taste test. So I have a sweet Italian, a spicy Italian, and then I got this um, spinach feta one, and I tried all three. They're all good. I would get each one again. The spicy Italian is probably my favorite. The spinach feta is really exciting. And then even the, um, the sweet sausage has a wonderful little flavor to it. So all three are pretty good. All right, here's my portion. This is half of the skillet, um, and I think I'll be quite happy. So this is no carbs, right? We got no pasta, no rice. So. Is it gonna be a real good sub for egg noodles? Maybe not, but is it yummy? Definitely. So my favorite part, as always. Mm -hmm. All right, so how could I go wrong with three different kinds of sausage? That was the sweet one right there. I could totally tell the sweet Italian. Um, so here's the deal. I'll, this will never replace egg noodles. It's one of my absolute favorite noodles. That is in Parpadelle and uh, bocatini, okay, whatever, I love pasta. But this is so good. So I don't crave the pasta right now. Um, if I was craving pasta, then I would not wanna make this. But this is so fun. It replaces my egg noodle. Um, it, it's, uh, it's super healthy, low carb. I love it, and this is staying on my rotation. I will be using this as a carb sub in the future.